Failure shall never end. This one a very big lesson to every young man. <laughs> My brothers, before you go deep into any relationship with a woman, make you try find out their tradition first. This news just fly enter my ear yesterday, and make her meet joy in London. As love they shock him. Now he can promise him say he go marry him. After two years of relationship, last week now they come to do traditional marriage. Joy people say according to their tradition, if Joy die and make her go carry her body come bury for her papa compound. Say now body in marry not be born. Now he make her begin verse say now they do again no because of tradition. I go marry woman, pay money for her head, she die. You go carry and come bury for her papa company again. This one a true life story for Win TV. My name is Anita Gumbre. Now then they rush me. I they enter the street and make a con here waiting on her get for mine for the matter when he did grant so. The question of the day is, let's assume that you have a son and your son has been dating this woman for the past two years. He does not know anything about her tradition. Now, he went to a village only for him to find out that if he marry her and she gets old and die, he cannot bury her anywhere else except in her father's compound. In this kind of situation, you as a mother, what will you do? Will you allow your son to marry the woman or not? My son will marry whoever she loves. Bury this side or bury the other side. That one, that one, it, it does not mean anything. There's one in my company, my family, my brother, my senior brother's son. The wife who went to whether rivers or something like that, they mentioned something like that. It doesn't concern us. When the person is there, it's not the matters. The, the thing that matters is even where the soul will go. It's not where they bury that person. So if that person love that person, because of where they will bury, will not stop my son, it will not stop my daughter to marry whoever it will marry. And again, come for tradition. In the Bible, Bible did not mention this is where to bury or this is where not to bury. Even when that person die, it does not matter the sickness or how the person die. The thing that matters is where the soul will go when that person die. So okay. that is... Okay, ma, what if your own tradition states that if your son marry a wife and she gets old and die, he must bury his wife in his family and our own states otherwise? In this kind of situation, what will you do? Your tradition states that your son must bury his wife in his compound uh, and our own states otherwise. In this kind of situation, what will you do as a mother? As a mother, my own tradition, as I marry my husband, we are building new generation. The generation of my husband is what I'm going to follow. Me and my husband will decide what will happen. I'm not following the tradition of my village. Say now, I'm not following. I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God. So we have tradition inside Christianity. So that is the tradition I will follow. I will go ahead with the marriage. What if your own tradition states that if your wife dies, you must bury her in your own compound and our own states otherwise. What will you do? Well, if that is the case, I think both parties and both families would have resolved that issue before going into the marriage. Because from what you asked, the man became aware after dating the lady for two years without knowing the tradition. But he got to know the tradition before the marriage. So they would have resolved it in some cultures. When a woman dies, she goes back to her father's house. That is where she's laid to rest. In some other cultures, they, she's buried in her husband's uh, house. You know? So it depends on what, well, if the man's tradition says if the woman dies, she will remain with him. While the culture of the woman is contrary to, I think the both cultures would have, you know, they would have looked at it and said, okay, in this circumstance, since this is the man is the head. No, the question is you as a person. You, let's assume you are the one now in this kind of situation. Yes. We want to know what you will do. No, what I will do is very simple. If the two cultures are conflicting, 
I will tell my uh, intending in-laws the position of our own culture and agree with them before going on with the marriage. Okay, you mean you will still go on with the marriage? Of course. Ma, let's assume that you are a man and you've been in this relationship with a lady for the past two years. You know nothing about our tradition. Now, you went to our village to conclude our traditional marriage rites. Only for you to find out that if she dies, you can't bury her anywhere else except in our father's compound. In this situation, will you go ahead with the marriage or you will quit? I will go if I love her. What if your own tradition states that she, uh, if your wife dies, you must bury her in your own compound? What will you do? <laughs> this is a very difficult situation here because... Her own tradition says she should be buried in her place, and your own tradition says she should be buried in. Uh, he should be buried in. She should be buried in your place. And I think the relationship will end because the both people are of different ways. Her own tradition is different. Yours is different. So you are of different ways. Because there's nothing you can do about it. So you mean to say that in that kind of situation where your own tradition says that you must bury your wife in your village and our own states otherwise, you will let go of it? You will let go because the movement is not going together. Well, it's unfair idea. In as much as they have released the lady to me, that the lady will become mine finally. If they finally agree that they will bury the lady in our own family house, well, I think that will be the end of the the mother, you allow your son marry him or not? My son will pray, my son will marry anybody that they love. I call it to the will of God. I don't know about tradition, tradition do not know me. I know about heavenly focus. I'm a Christian, I focus in the heavenly focus. I don't know about tradition. So anybody that I miss my son to, my son will have a love with. We'll pray about it, my son will marry the person. I don't believe in any tradition. I believe in God's side. According to what Bible say, I believe in what doctrine. We are in new generation. We are in computer age. Nothing like tradition or not tradition. Let's assume that you've been in a relationship with this lady for two years. You don't know anything about our tradition. Now you went to a village to conclude a marriage right. Only for you to find out that if she dies, you can't bury her anywhere else except in her father's compound. What will you do? Will you go ahead with the marriage or you will back out? Well, thank you very much. My name is Adebola Owolola. Fortunately, I am a journalist. We have traditions from individuals, homes, and towns, and villages too. The tradition of the people must always be preserved and to preserve the tradition of the people. Like my own self, like I, I said earlier on, we do find out the foundation of any woman that we want to marry. You, you need to find out whether there is madness in the house, whether there is any other thing that could, could tarnish the image of your own family. So we don't just incorporate any foreign body into our own home, we find out. But then, if you come to a place like Lagos, People take things, you know, the way they see. They, 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 they don't bother. They don't care. They look at faces of people. Maybe you are a beautiful girl. Maybe it depends on the parameter individuals are using to judge whoever they want to choose as their wife, a future partner. But then the situation you've just given a narration of, if it happens to me, even though it can't happen to me because we want to do a background check, but if it happens, for adventure, it happens. I will just keep the marriage. I won't even go ahead with such a marriage. You mean you will just quit the marriage? A woman that has been with you when you had nothing, she stood by you and everything. Now, because of tradition, you mean you will just let go of the woman like that? Money is not everything. So that means they didn't give us the wife because once the, the man is married to the girl, he has 
other rights. He has rights concerning the woman. So in everything, both life and death is the owner of the woman. So if the woman dies, he has right to bury the woman in her own compound as a wife that is my wife. But why will I, my, my son will marry a woman after the dowry and everything, they will now take the woman to the, they will now take the wife back to the man's compound. That means the wife has not been releasing to me. They just want him to give me a child. That means he's not my son's wife. If it's my son's wife, I believe I have, my husbands have rights. Both life and death is the owner of the wife. And immediately when the wife sleeps in the Lord, he has other relatives. I pray that the, the wife of my child will not die, firstly. But assuming that happened, God knows the best. My okay, okay, right. okay. What, what if your son say if he not marry this girl, he no go agree? What do you go do as a mother? Say if he not marry the girl, he no go agree. Uh, if he said he, if he did not marry the girl, that means he's, he's ready. That is, he wants to take their traditional like that. Marriage is for both husband and wife. I have no right to tell my son not to marry the person he loves. Okay, what if, as your son not greasing, go marry the woman? Now you say, okay, if your son not greasing, now what he wants, you go allow and marry. What if your own um, tradition state say your, your son must bury in wife for in company? This situation, what do you go do? That means I will quit it. The marriage is going to be quit. I will let my I will let my son understand what is going on. That this is what is going on concerning our family. You, this woman that you married, that is the reason why I paid the bad price. If anything happens, he has to be buried in our compound as a wife, the mother of your child. That whenever when the the children want to see their mother, they can see their mother. Not going to that village. Is there anything they want to do with that dead body? My sister, this question I had will not be lie. I not go go ahead with the marriage at all. This woman don't deal with you where you not get anything. She stand by you. She love you. So you mean say you go just let this woman go like that because of tradition? Yes, now in my own aspect, tradition really means a lot to me. If I love her, fine. If the parents will allow me to bury her where it pleases me, fine. I will go on with the relationship. Uh, somebody told me. You know, making friends with someone before he got married. We have to pray as a child of God. We have to pray and know the will of God before you go to any relationship with any man. Um, uh, this one has happened already. This one has happened already. So if you were to be in that situation as it has happened, what will you do? So I have to, you know, not agree because although he didn't marry the man, and they are not in pain, down, you know, seeking for the um, consent of their parents. But it's not the will of God to, you know, to bury the lady in the uh, boy's compound. Uh, for me, it's kind of a tricky question. But um, if love is uh, really the basis for the unionship, then uh, to me, from my own perception, um, that won't be a problem. Uh, I can still go ahead with the marriage, yeah. I would still go ahead with the marriage, as long as love is the basis of our relationship. Yeah, I will still go ahead with the marriage, yeah. He said he will go ahead with the marriage. What if your own tradition in your own village states that if your wife dies, you must bury her in your own compound. You, you can't bury her anywhere else. And our, our own states that you can't bury her anywhere else in our own village. In that situation, what will you do? Will you go ahead with the marriage or you will back out? Okay, uh, let's see. For me, I'm in 21st century. Come on, who does that? I, I don't put um, tradition and all that over... As I'm educated and I see beyond all that, I see past all that, you understand? If, like I said earlier, earlier on, if love is the basics, then I think passion doesn't come in first. What comes in is love and what I want for myself and not what um, the, the, the set down rules that have been there for a very long time, which I have no clue about. I won't go by that, I will go by what I want. And probably she can also forsake us as well, because I'm going to forsake mine. So I believe it's mutual, she should also forsake us too. What she matter is what we want for ourselves and not what some other dictators out there. Relationship is love. When you love your partner and uh, uh, for that reason, you're able to do whatever you feel is good for that your partner. And if, you, as you said, that for two years you've been going out and uh, you now find out that uh, probably you decide to go and do what you are supposed to do, uh, you find out that this is the condition for the from that particular tradition. Uh, my own opinion that if you love the lady, you can continue. Because at the end of the day, uh, being a Christian, when you die, you leave the body, it's the soul that matters. You understand? So wherever that lady is buried, the thing is that you loved her. 
And if at the end of the day, as you, you said, do death, uh, do death, do us part. So be it. So if you love her, that is a good, uh, for me, you can, wherever the family says they want to bear her, no problem. Okay, what if your own tradition states that if she die, you must bury her in your own compound? In that situation, what will you do? I think before we get to that situation, I myself will know that this is my tradition. I probably must have discussed it. Uh, she sees my family or probably I must have taken her to my own No, family. sir, this one has happened already. So what will you do in that kind of situation? Will you continue with the marriage or you will quit? Uh, in that situation, I think I have to let the, uh, the, the um, lying dogs lie. You understand? So what I need to do is to back up. You have gone to a village and now you find out that if you marry her, she dies. You cannot bury her anywhere else except in her father's company. The situation is on ground. Now what will you do? Ah, I would like to seek for help about uh, her family first before I can go ahead. That is their tradition. Well, the tradition, that is the tradition. What will you do? Ah, I will seek good intervention because it has passed uh, human being control.